11 things you can do to fight off an urge to smoke. The urge to smoke is going to be strong when you first quit smoking. It doesn't matter if you're wearing the patch or using some form of quit smoking medication. The urge to smoke is going to follow you around, especially at times of day, places, or situations where you used to smoke. You'll need to figure out some strategies that'll help you fight off this urge to smoke. A lot of quitting is trial and error. As you start the quitting process, you figure out what works and is helpful and discard the things that aren't. Experiment to see what's going to help the urge pass quicker. An important thing is to do something different when you experience an urge to smoke. The average urge to smoke lasts between five and seven minutes. However, those five to seven minutes can feel like an eternity while you're experiencing an intense urge to smoke. Put your focus on another activity when you're hit with an urge to smoke. Especially if you engage in an activity that you enjoy, it can help the urge become more tolerable so you're not dwelling on it for a long period of time. The reality is you'll live with the urge to smoke for a very long time. A key part of quitting is, no matter how you slice it up, you'll probably have the urge to smoke for a very long time. If you've smoked for the majority of your life, there's a possibility that the urge to smoke might last as long as you live. That might sound a little depressing, but I just want to be realistic with you. However, the good news is that you can expect the urge to smoke to lose its intensity with the passage of time. The urge to smoke won't be nearly as strong on day one of your quit as it is on day 100. With time, the urge won't be as powerful as it is early on in your quit. So you have that to look forward to. I look at it this way. It's better to be an ex-smoker experiencing the occasional urge to smoke than a smoker experiencing urges and dealing with all the crap that comes with being a smoker. Here's a list of 11 things you can do today to help you fight off an urge to smoke. Number one, cut a straw into the shape of a cigarette. Take a straw and cut it into the length of a cigarette and stuff a little bit of cotton into one end of it. Put enough cotton in the straw to match the length of the cigarette butt. When you get an urge, take a drag on your straw cigarette. Keep your fake cigarette with you at times and places where you're used to smoking whether that's in the car, on your work breaks, or at the bar. It's going to feel strange not having a real cigarette between your fingers, so having a substitute cigarette early on can help. I've even heard from quitters who have put some herbal oil on the cotton to mimic the taste of menthol. Give your fake cigarette a shot, whatever works. It could be a helpful short-term solution for you. Number two, cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks are another helpful substitute. They are commonly found in the spice aisle at your local grocery store. Cinnamon sticks are close to the length of a cigarette, so if you want, you can take a drag on it and pretend it's a cigarette as well. Anything with a strong cinnamon flavor can be helpful when you're working to quit. Whether that's cinnamon sticks, Altoids, toothpicks, or candies, give it a try and see if it works to cut through the urge to smoke. If taking a puff off a cinnamon stick helps you surge past the urge to smoke, go for it. Number three, clean. Clean your house like you've never cleaned it before. Clean everything that smoke attaches to. Clean your carpets, wipe down the windows, scrub the walls of your home. Here's an idea for you. The fish bowl that's been in the basement that's been collecting dust and filled with odds and ends for the past six years, empty it out, wash it, and repurpose it as a money jar. For every pack of cigarettes you don't smoke, throw the money into the money jar. Use the money to invest in getting your carpets cleaned or some new paint to throw on damaged walls. Next, focus on cleaning out your car. Get your car professionally deep cleaned. Get your vehicle smelling nice, fresh, and clean like it's brand new. Cleaning your home and your car can also score you some points with your significant other. Just the act of cleaning will help you keep your hands busy and your mind occupied. It's a time-consuming task and a helpful distraction to fight off the urge to smoke. Number four, fill an empty water or pop bottle 
with discarded cigarette butts and add a little water. Put the used cigarette butts and water into the bottle and shake it up some. Keep the bottle within reach for when the urge hits. Every time you experience the urge for a cigarette, take the cap off the bottle and put your nose right up to the top and take a big whiff of the foul smelling cigarette water. The stink will help you cut through that craving to smoke in no time. That stench from the old wet cigarette butts is gonna be strong, so make sure you seal the cap on tight after you've taken a whiff. The last thing you wanna do is spill this funky cigarette water on your clothes or in your car. It won't be easy to wash it out, so utilize this strategy carefully. Number five, the rubber band method. Wear a rubber band around your wrist and snap it every time you get the urge to smoke. Whenever you crave a cigarette, give the rubber band a big firm snap. This is negative reinforcement, but if it helps you surge past the urge to smoke, then go for it. If you find yourself using this rubber band strategy often, give your wrist a break and switch over to your other hand. You can also put the rubber band around your ankle and snap yourself there. Or you can get a smaller rubber band and put it around one of your fingers and see if that helps you conquer the urge to smoke. The rubber band method can be effective for some quitters, so consider giving it a shot. Number six, laugh. Laughter is a great stress buster. If stress is a big trigger for your smoking, consider laughing more often as a new positive outlet for your stress. Laughter increases endorphins that are released by your brain, which is a good thing. It helps you feel good. There's no bad reason for laughing. Plus, if you lose your sense of humor, you might as well pack it in. It's no fun being around a Debbie Downer type who can't laugh at themselves or the world. Put on your favorite stand-up comedy special. Watch your favorite comedy on YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu. Laugh with others. Laugh by yourself. Who cares? Just keep laughing. It'll help bust through some urges to smoke. Here's a side joke for you. A pastor said to his congregation Sunday morning, You might not go to hell for smoking, but you're sure going to go through life smelling like you've already been there. Number seven, cry. A good cry every now and then can help clear out the cobwebs. If you're feeling sad and bummed out and down on your luck, don't hold it in. If you're bummed out that you're not smoking anymore, let it out. Find a private place, take some tissues with you, and just let it all hang out. You'll feel better and refreshed once you're done crying and can carry on with your day. If you miss smoking, shed a few tears and you'll feel better. It'll also help aid you through the grieving process of quitting. Number eight, dance. Your skin can get a little tight from time to time. Whether you have tight white skin, tight black skin, tight brown, yellow, or purple skin, it's a good idea to shake out of it every once in a while by dancing. Put on one of your favorite songs and let it all hang out. If you dance at home, draw the shades before you bust a little jig in your living room. You don't want the neighbors to get a glimpse of that. Then again, who cares what they think? You're quitting smoking, and if dancing helps you shake off the craving to smoke, that's what you gotta do. Dance away your urge to smoke. The ends justify the means when it comes to quitting smoking. Remember that. Number nine, brush your teeth. Brushing your teeth is a strategy that can be especially helpful if you experience a strong craving after eating a meal. Don't just sit at the dinner table and stew with your craving to smoke. Get up and head to the bathroom to brush your teeth. This is a great way to build up a new habit after meals. Once you have that fresh, minty taste in your mouth from brushing your teeth, a cigarette will be less desirable. Plus, your significant other may be more likely to give you a kiss, and that's always a good thing. Number 10, jump on trampolines. It's time to round up the kids fuel them up on sugar and carbs, and spend the afternoon jumping on trampolines. This is a great way to burn off some extra energy and bounce off cravings. It's a fun way to get in some exercise. If you got some extra aggression to let out, 
Go to one of those trampoline places that have a dodgeball cage. Take one of those Nerf balls and unleash some high fastball at one of those tweener kids with a funny haircut that's not your own. Drill him right in the back of the head. That Nerf ball will still sting a little, but he'll survive. Now that the aggression is out of your system and the craving to smoke has passed, make sure the kid is okay before you continue to jump. Number 11, rub the patch. If you're wearing the nicotine patch and you experience a tough craving to smoke, give the patch a good press and think hard on something else. I'm not sure why this strategy works, but some quitters tell me that it does. Rub the patch when you need that extra oomph to get through a tough craving. If rubbing the patch clockwise doesn't help, try rubbing it counterclockwise. Tap on the patch fast or tap on it slow. Just give it a go. While rubbing the patch, get angry at that urge to smoke until it fades away. There you have it. 11 ideas and strategies to help you fight off the urge to smoke. There's easily 111 more, and I'm curious to hear what has worked for you. Here's the bottom line. Remember this, you're in the driver's seat, and the urge to smoke isn't. You control these urges, and it's not the other way around. Here's another way to think about it. You're the boss, and the urge to smoke is the employee. Fire that urge if you have to. Put that urge on a performance improvement plan. As you experiment with different things to help you overcome the urge to smoke, please remember, you're in control at all times. All right, what about you? What are some things you've tried that have helped you break through the urge to smoke? What have you found success with? Please share your ideas in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your time, and I wish you all the best in your quit.